Hello, my beautiful family. Today is day seven of our Book of Mormon reading, and this is a great chapter, chapter eight of First Nephi. We're going to be reading about Lehi's vision of the tree of life. Um, I want to just get right into reading it, so here we go. And it came to pass, after I had prayed unto the Lord, I beheld a large and spacious field. And it came to pass that I beheld a tree whose fruit was desirable to make one happy. And it came to pass that I did go forth and partake of the fruit thereof, and I beheld that it was most sweet above all that I had ever before tasted. Yea, and I beheld that the fruit thereof was white to exceed all the whiteness that I had ever seen. And as I partook of the fruit thereof, it filled my soul with exceeding great joy. Wherefore I began to be desirous that my family should partake of it also, for I knew that it was desirable above all other fruit. And as I cast my eyes round about, that perhaps I might discover my family also, I beheld a river of water, and it ran along, and it was near the tree of which I was partaking the fruit. And I looked to behold from whence it came, and I saw the head thereof a little way off. And at the head thereof I beheld your mother Sariah, and Sam, and Nephi. And they stood as if they knew not whither they should go. And it came to pass that I beckoned unto them, and also did say unto them with a loud voice that they should come unto me and partake of the fruit which was desirable above all other fruit. And it came to pass that they did come unto me and partake of the fruit also. And it came to pass that I was desirous that Laman and Lemuel should come and partake of the fruit also. Wherefore I cast mine eyes towards the head of the river that perhaps I might see them. And it came to pass that I saw them but they would not come unto me and partake of the fruit. And I beheld a rod of iron, and it extended along the bank of the river, and led to the tree by which I stood. And I also beheld a straight and narrow path, which came along by the rod of iron, even to the tree by which I stood, and it also led by the head of the fountain, unto a large and spacious field, as if it had been a world. And I saw numberless concourses of people pressing many of whom were pressing forward, that they might obtain the path which led unto the tree by which I stood. And it came to pass that they did come forth and commence in the path which led to the tree. And it came to pass that there arose a mist of darkness, yea, even an exceedingly great mist of darkness, insomuch that they who had commenced in the path did lose their way, that they wandered off and were lost. And it came to pass that I beheld others pressing forward, and they came forth and caught hold of the end of the rod of iron. And they did press forward through the mist of darkness, clinging to the rod of iron, even until they did come forth and partake of the fruit of the tree. And after they had partaken of the fruit of the tree, they did cast their eyes about, as if they were ashamed. And I also cast my eyes round about, and beheld on the other side of the river of water a great and spacious building. And it stood, as it were, in the air, high above the earth. And it was filled with people, both old and young, male and female, and their manner of dress was exceedingly fine, and they were in the attitude of mocking and pointing their fingers towards those who had come at and were partaking of the fruit. And after they had tasted of the fruit, they were ashamed because of those who were scoffing at them, and they fell away into the forbidden paths and were lost.